All right, guys, so this is um, <clears throat> literally like a half hour after my last video of the swipe. And I have so much of the neon paint left and really no way to store it that I'm just going to have to do another painting because I don't want to waste it. And I must be in some kind of crazy masochistic mood because I'm thinking I'm going to do a tree ring pour. <laughs> which, like I said, tree ring pours and I don't get along. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do a puddle pour. Yeah. Don't think I have a cup. I need to get some new cups. These ones just don't hold a lot of paint, and I don't think I can get enough in there to do a streaming pour on this large canvas, because I'm this is a 12 by 16, because I do have that much paint left. So, yeah. Let's do a puddle pour. So I'm going to just pour some of this black into a smaller cup. I'm not messing with bottle holes. Yeah. So I'm going to do black in those neon colors. Again, they're pink, yellow, orange. And then um, I'll throw the green in there just because I don't want to waste it. So puddle pours are fun. Um, I used to do them, well, it's what I was mainly doing for a long time, and then I've mostly just been doing um, dirty cups, dirty flip cups, but we'll try to puddle pour with this stuff, see how it goes. And I'm going to do four puddles, um, no rhyme or reason to the order. Some people, when they do puddle pours, they like to, like, keep it in order and stuff, but I don't really find that that does anything for me because everything mixes up so much anyway. So, let's get going. I don't even know if you're... Oh, it is okay. I didn't know if this whole canvas was fitting in the screen of the phone. So this is as level as this canvas is going to get, um, you know, there's probably by an actual leveler, but I just downloaded a level app on my phone, and that seems to do just fine. So I don't want to put the black necessarily in with the yellow, because it's going to create more green, and we already have green, so I'm going to avoid doing that. This is just puddle pouring. If you haven't done one before, they're fairly simple, not too crazy. That orange almost looks like a peach. Interesting. And as you can see, they'll start moving in towards each other, which even if you have it as level as can be, that's something that can happen. Not a big deal. Finish off that pink. Some more black here. I did it anyway. I said I wasn't going to do it. That's probably why people start keeping track of where they're pouring their paint. So I did it anyway. That's going to create more green. That's all right. I honestly don't know how these colors are going to mix for a puddle pour like this. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. And there I just did it again. But Whatever. We're going to have green. It's okay. Don't necessarily want that much green, but 
It's whatever. That should be definitely plenty of paint. My manicurist is gonna kill me tomorrow, you guys. Should have been wearing gloves, but whatever, because now you get to drag your finger through it, and that um, helps mix the paint up a little bit more so you don't end up with so much, I don't know, structured lines when you start tilting the canvas. <coughs> Excuse me. But I don't know if I want all that paint on it right now. <laughs> if I have a paintbrush. If this were a big canvas and I had big, big, big puddles, I would definitely do my finger. I think this should be okay. I'll do it a couple of times. So I can already tell in tilting this right here is probably going to stay and create some interesting stuff. Alright, so then what you do is you tilt. Tilt, tilt. Um, the steeper you tilt the canvas, um, the more cells you should get in theory. Um, if you want to look at videos for uh, Puddle Pours, Melly D is amazing at puddle pours she's got tons of knowledge on them and i'll link her in the description box because that's who i learned how to do this from so i'm just gonna go ahead i think i'll go since we're closest to this i'm gonna go that way first so you really just want to go like as few tilts as possible so like four one for each corner um if you can sometimes you've got to do a little more than that but we'll go ahead and see what we get and I'm gonna have to unfortunately get up here to get a steep tilt so you won't get to see the whole thing but here we go see what I meant about that middle area probably should have used my finger just to try to avoid that but totally did not get this corner all the way and again if you missed my last video and you missed me apologizing for the sniffles let me just say it one more time. I am sorry. This stupid bronchitis is not going away as quickly as I want it to. And I doesn't. I should have done my fingers anyway, you guys, because I just got freaking black everywhere. <laughs> but that's all right. It really looks peach in this lighting. So, again, this doesn't have any flow, uh, flow trial, of course, no silicone or dimethicone in this black that I used. I did put dimethicone in the swipe, but not in this one. So you can see like where it started really tilting is where the um, cells popped up. That area is kind of cool. I don't know about this whole section but I don't know we're gonna let this sit here I'm gonna go wash up leave that camera running and we'll see what happens
All right, guys, this is, I don't know, like 15 minutes later, I went and fed the dog and stood in front of the cooler because I'm telling you, it is miserable today. I live in Southern California, in the desert, not by the beach, and it's miserable. Anyway, you probably saw me come in and mess with it. Should have not done that because now I don't like it as much. But whatever, lesson learned. Can't always get them right, right? I do like how this kind of turned out right here, but I don't know. Now it's all blurry up here. There's no like crisp um, lines. So if you feel like messing with your painting after and you don't like it, do it. What's the harm that could happen? I mean, obviously you end up with a painting you're not necessarily happy with, but you never know until you try, right? So. get a little bit of a close-up that looks like kind of cool right there see it kind of starts blurring right here my finger <laughs> starts blurring right here can't really I don't know it's not distinct so I don't necessarily care for that but same thing up here tilted too much but at least I didn't waste paint right I mean we need to get some containers that have lids for leftover paint that's the overall look um we'll see if it dries any better probably not I don't think it's gonna change much more but again I will post um dried pictures of it on my Instagram which I will link down in the description box, as well as Melly D's um, YouTube, because she's like queen of puddle pours. And she's the one that says, be strong and back away. <laughs> so when you're feeling like hesitant, just remember that, you know, be strong, back away. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, hit subscribe and more will be coming your way. Thanks.